The Battle of Antietam by Thad, Maxwell, Victoria, and Jamie. Antietam is a single bloody day in the entire world. September 1862, Robert E. Lee and his 45,000 troops slipped into Maryland into the mountains. He also divided his army, which General George McClellan quickly found him. With this information, McClellan's 90,000 troops still did not attack Lee's forces, even with the known time and location. But on September 17, 1862, near Sharpsburg, Maryland, at the Antietam Creek, McClellan finally attacked. The lower bridge, also known as Warbond Bridge, served as one of the bloodiest settings the battle took place. The lower bridge, now known as the Burnside Bridge, was covered with bodies due to the fact that McClellan kept sending troops over to fight, but the hand they found out they could have just waded through the water. Dunker Church, Mr. Miller's Cornfield, and Bloody Lane also served as main settings. Out of every three soldiers, two were either killed, wounded, or captured. Many tourists can hear the sound of the drums and shouts of the soldiers as they pass the Burnside Bridge. Ghosts of uniformed soldiers charge across, piercing the enemy with bullets. They fall on the grass for their fun, but disappear right before your eyes, leaving with you a chilly feeling. The Battle of Antietam was not left, it is still going with only a few people. A total of 26,000 soldiers were killed in the wound. In the end, the battle ended in a draw. And on September 18th, the Confederates went off to Virginia. McClellan would have fought them, but his army had suffered too much to pursue the retreating rebels. The North, however, claimed this a victory for them. Word got out and created a dispute between the South, the French, and British. Since the South sent most of their raw cotton to the French and British, and created a deal with them as many friction between them. France and, Britain, and Great Britain said to the South if they kept winning battles, they would send materials. Because the battle ended in the draw, they ended all money and materials being sent to the southern hand. In the North, however, they celebrated their victory. President Lincoln soon after announced the Emancipation Proclamation. But the main parts of this battle are these plans to surprise Washington, D.C. The South's support was cut off. This was the first major battle to take place on Northern soil. The major thing it did was give the North a huge lead on the North. 